Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to download music off of IRC. Uh, now, a lot of you might be wondering what exactly is IRC. I've been downloading music from BitTorrent and other things like that for ages now, but I've never heard of IRC. Is this new? How do you do this? Well, no, actually, IRC is pretty old. In fact, it was a lo around way before um, anything such as BitTorrent existed. IRC stands for Internet Relay Chat, and it was actually a very early chat client that existed even before MSN. Uh, but you can use it uh, to download files through sends uh, that they call DCC sends, and uh, there's a quite a few servers online and available that a bunch uh, that basically all the local computer geeks have uh, been using for years now. So uh, let's get started. The first thing I should mention is that uh, there are a couple of prerequisites uh, to being able to do this. First of all, you're going to need to download a couple of pieces of software, very lightweight pieces of software. And second of all, unfortunately, you need to have a copy of Windows XP available. Uh, I'm on Windows 7 right now, so I'm forced to run Windows XP inside of a VMware virtual machine. Uh, but you might not have to, you might be one of those people that are still running Windows XP. And if you're not, I I'll try and create a tutorial for you guys on how to get VMware set up and running. Alright, so this is my virtual machine. I'm just going to maximize this window and expand it. And we're now working within Windows XP. So the first thing that we want to do to get this set up is that we want to open up our web browser. And we're going to look to download soft, some software called Merck, M-I-R-C. So I just went into Google and of course searched for Merck. The first result came up and I'm just going to click on the download button here and continue to download the Merck software. And we will save this file to the desktop. The second piece of software that we're going to need very soon is called AutoGet and that's where all the magic happens. So I'm going to search for AutoGet. Actually, I'll search for Omen Script because, in fact, Omen Script is the organization and the website which hosts AutoGet. And then I'm going to go to the Downloads folder on the left menu. Now, normally you'll need to sign up for an account with Omen Script, um, but I will also host the file for available for download on my website, which you can check out. So I'm going to enter the AutoGet section and download the latest version which is honestly quite old and I will save this file to my desktop as well and that's all the work that we need to do in the web browser so we can clear this list and close up Internet, uh, Firefox and we're gonna go ahead and install Merck we're gonna agree to the prompt going to continue with the installation. The default directory is fine, you can put this anywhere that you want but note that you should probably take note of this directory for future reference and we can do the full installation which is perfect and we can leave this all default as well and we just go ahead and click on the install button now I'm going to want to go ahead and leave this menu up here for the time being and I'm going to proceed to the auto get setup so I'm going to double click on the zip file and I'm going to open up the executable and in this case I don't have any uh, WinRAR or unzipping client installed like WinRAR, for, uh, WinRAR or WinZip for example so I'm just going to use a default Windows um, software and I'm going to run the executable uh, agree to the security prompt and it's just another quick next I agree type installation again and we proceed through all the menus now the reason that I mentioned that you might want to pay attention to the directory before is because you'll probably want to put the auto get script inside of the C if the C program file slash Merck or wherever you installed it. And I like to put it in slash autoget. Now make note of this directory as well. So we're gonna proceed and that's pretty much all you need to do to install the autoget script. So we're gonna click on run Merck here and click on finish. Now this is what you'll be presented with. Merck is technically a uh, you technically need to pay to use it, but it won't stop you from using it. In fact, I think this one's been installed for over two years in this virtual machine. Um, and so I'm just going to click continue. This is not the first time I installed it. Yes, it's been running for 588 days. And I uninstalled it for the purposes of this video tutorial. So we're going to click continue here. And the first thing that will appear will be your configuration window. Now, it's very important that you that you fill in these fields correctly. Now, your full name can be absolutely anything. I'll call myself... Um, something completely uncreative. How about anonymous? My email address will be anonymous 
at anon.com. And now your nickname, I found that it typically works better if your nickname is the same as your full name. So I'm going to proceed and put that in. And your alternative name, I like to use the full name and perhaps some string of characters at the end. The alternative name is only used if somebody else is on the chat um, server at the same time as you. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do, or that I like to do, is to go to the sounds menu. And I like to disable sounds, which can be kind of annoying inside of Merc. And the next thing is in the DCC menu. And for ease of use later, we'll set it to auto get the file. It will prompt you saying that you may receive viruses as a result of doing this because auto getting files will effectively automatically accept uh, file sends. But since we're going to be requesting the file sends, it's perfectly fine. And the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we go to the folders directory. And we're going to change the directory that audio files are put into by default. This is really just a customization thing and it doesn't need to be done. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to have it put all the audio files that I download onto my desktop. Click OK and OK as well. Now this is also very important. Under the ignore field, you're going to want to set the method to accept only, which is what's there by default. And this is why it's pretty safe because we're going to basically ignore every single type of file other than an mp3 file. And mp3 files can never be dangerous, and so we'll be totally fine. And I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now this is the last bit of configuration that you need to do with Merck before you can start using AutoGet. What you're going to want to do is go into this chat window here and put it into the um, field right here, click on it, and we're going to type the following, forward slash load, Dash rs. Now note that these quotes are very important and the directory that you kept in mind before, well that, that's exactly what we're going to type in here. So mine was c program files slash merc slash autoget and now this will be effectively where you put autoget and at the end of that directory you're going to put sla backslash autoget dot mrc and you're going to close the quotes. Press on enter and it will come up with this script warning saying that a script is trying to initialize itself and yes absolutely we want, we want it to happen. We did this on purpose. And so now it tells you that autoget has been successfully loaded into Merck and this is the last time that you'll have to do it unless you just so happen to uninstall autoget. So now what we want to do is right click on the chat window and this is the same procedure now anytime that you want to go ahead and open autoget and you just fire up Merck and then you're going to load AutoGet in this way. So we're going to right click, select AutoGet v 7.40 b4 and we're going to click on open. And now this window comes up. We can minimize Merck. It goes into the um, taskbar down here and the, into the notification area and now we'll be working exclusively within AutoGet for the most part. So what you want to do is go ahead and click on file and connect. And what this is going to do now is that it's going to connect itself to various servers. There are actually 12 servers that it tries to connect to which have been around for since the beginning of time. And those servers are servers which people graciously host um, in their spare time. And there's music on there. So we're going to really want to get into that. Now it's going to often tell you this, that you seem to be having trouble connecting to a channel. Now that's totally fine, it sometimes takes a little while for this to happen, so we're going to want to uncheck always show this message and click OK. If you're sure that your internet is running, it should be fine. If you really do have problems connecting, you'll probably want to double click on Merck, and we don't need this window for the time being. And yes, I'm sure I want to close the status window. Now you see here, we've had a problem. It says Anonymous nickname is already in use and it might be the problem so um, obviously Anonymous is probably not a great nickname to have used since it's obviously I'm guessing pretty common so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go change my nickname from Anonymous to something a little bit more original like Ali Baba and I'll do the same thing here one two three and I'll click on OK and perhaps this will be a little bit more original and as you can see uh, it let me in right away because I'm presumably the only Alibaba available. Sometimes you'll run into that kind of error and it's good to note that that's how you fix it. And basically it all comes down to going ahead and reading what they say. If there's something that they say you need to change, go ahead and change it.